Hey guys, it's me Komasan and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's and today is the day where we beat 420 mode. Just a warning, I will not be talking for a majority of this. I will only talk about small things in there but most of the time I will not be talking because this is 420. I'm going to be super focused. I did watch a video on what to do. I hope I beat it for sure. If I don't, it happens. But this is the 420 experience. So let me just get ready. I'm, I'm very scared of doing this. I am actually petrified. This is very, it's not the hardest challenge in FNAF, but it's my first time of me doing a max mode. So I'm very, very afraid of doing this. And I'm shaking currently as, as of making this. But if I beat this, I will be the queen of Five Nights at Freddy's. But uh, yeah, this, Give me a moment, I'll cut it out, and we'll start tonight. Okay guys, so I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing here. So, I'm flipping up the camera up and down until we reach 97%. Because it just feels safe. Uh, some guy, it's the other night, night 6, you wanna do it to 95. I still didn't do that because it's still very whiskey, and I'm not whisking that. So, the strat is us checking one door and opening up the camera then checking the other light and doing that over and over and over again also have your camera on 4b when you start off the night automatically because that keeps Freddy though uh other than that Freddy will kill you so you want to have that door keep on checking on Freddy and this also prevents foxy from moving but foxy will still move over the night so just precautions ever so often check up on foxy if chica pills on the right door close it and go check up on foxy if he's out of the thing close the door right off the bat uh but really check on check on him when he's out of the place because uh it's that's very scary you know like that's whisk territory um it takes about like 20 26 27 seconds for him to actually reach your office when he's gone so that is a pretty decent amount of time just keep that in mind because it can kill you uh i didn't really introduce this but i am doing a voiceover of what to do in this night because i was too focused on talking like focusing on the game instead of talking this looking at it it doesn't look that hard this isn't the hardest max mode in five nights of Freddy's. that's 50 20 sister location and fnaf 2 but this is one of the easier ones but it's still hard for new players to fnaf and this is my first max mode but you can tell it's fairly stressful still, no matter what, if you're a new player. Scumbag. This is a pretty good strategy. Just overall, it's a good strategy. There was an old strategy where you just close the white door whenever you went on cams. But that is not a good strategy anymore. And you can still, it's fairly luck based. This is still luck based, but not as much luck based if you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just checking up on doors, checking up the animatronics out, closing the door, checking up sometimes i don't check up on foxy because i don't want to uh but this is how the town night goes it's very stressful if you never did this uh it's it's very very stressful this took me three tries to do what this this just proved this this strategy is pretty good i'm gonna put the link in the description below on how i did this strategy uh the person is very awesome he does guides on basically all the five nights of Freddy's max modes and stuff like that so it's very helpful if you're really wanting to do these challenges. He even made a challenge uh, video about 50-20 mode. So if you want to do that in Ultimate Custom Night, you can go ahead and do that. But it's only 1 a.m. at 66 power. Not going that well right now, but yeah. I suggest but when it hits 3 a.m. you at least have 50% power or more because uh, you know pa power is going to be the really thing that matters in this night is how much you waste how fast you are with the lights and stuff because oh if you saw right there foxy was in stored state so we got to check him on foxy a lot because he's about to come and you know if he it's okay if he comes one time because when he comes at the door one time, he does knock on the door once, and it only drains one power, but any other time when he... The more he comes and knocks on the door, the more power it consumes. Second time, it's 6% power, which is very, very bad. So keep that in mind. It is luck-based, so you might get unlucky with Foxy. You might get lucky with Foxy. It, it's still luck-based. FNAF 1 is a very luck-based max mode. So keep that in mind, but other than that, you should be pretty fine with this. 
I know I'm talking pretty fast, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. What I'm doing, you know. It's my first time actually commentating over something that's very hard. So, please put that in mind. I do have a speech impediment if you guys didn't notice. So, if it's hard for me to say some stuff, I can't say all. So, yeah. But this is my first max mode I ever beat. So, if you guys want to see me play more max modes, tell me in the description. Tell me in the comments below. Because uh, I do plan on playing all the Five Nights at Freddy's games. And max mode. Uh, max moding all all of them that includes 50 20 mode when I had the time and energy to do that But it's 3 a.m. We have 40% power, which is not the best We're kind of being bad on power right there but uh, we're just getting a very unlucky with the animatronics, but It's just something we got to deal with because we can still be saved by the time at the end of the night with Fuddy He can be slow or he can be you know fast We want slow if you're not if the power is very low so we're just checking them on Foxy every once in a while. Sometimes I close the doors just because, like, I don't feel safe, you know. Got to check up on Foxy. I just feel like I have to check on him, so I just do that. You can pretty much free flow some of this stuff here. Like, you can take some whisks here. But a uh, misinput could still possibly kill you if you accidentally open up the door or something like that. Uh, on a previous death of mine, uh, Foxy was running down the door, and I opened it up. But Bonnie was at the door, and I couldn't do anything because Bonnie uh, prevented me from closing the door. So I just had to deal with the jump skill. But it's 3 a.m. We have like 30% power, which is pretty bad. I'm about to check up on Foxy, I'm pretty sore. Uh, 28, yeah, 28, I check up on Foxy just because uh, I just... I do it in increments of... Uh, I didn't say that way, but increments of time, like power level. Just because... I can kind of count down how long it takes. It's hard to explain, but like, it's a good way to measure how much time you have to uh, basically check up on Foxy. I do it like every four or five percentages of on the power because it feels safe. See, we have 20% power, it's 4 a.m. So uh, it, this is pretty risky right here. I suggest like 15% power when it hits 5 a.m. because that's just, it's that's the safe point in my opinion. Uh, when it's good, but we might die, see, in the I'm talking about like we might die because I was cutting it pretty close with the time heal with the power. If you can tell, mm -hmm. Foxy's not moving at all, which is pretty awesome. We're getting very lucky with Foxy. I think he wants one time this night, but I'm not too sore. Uh, it's actually good for him to one at least one night just to you know control Foxy. So. If you are waiting at the end and you don't want to open up doors, Foxy can still kill you actually. So it's really good to check if you ran away or not so you don't end up getting killed when you're waiting for the power to go out. We are running low on power if you guys can tell. Just look at that 10% and it's about to be 5 a.m. So that's very, very bad. We want 15% here. So I'm kind of gritting my teeth right now i'm getting very anxious this will make you anxious if you never did this before but it's finally 5 a.m i'm gonna check out my foxy right here foxy's on we switch to a always have the cl door close before you do that and you can open up the door if he knocks once but i suggest if you're not if you don't feel safe like i did i wait until the knocks is over but at three percent power just wait it out and just pray that's all you gotta do and it's it's very luck based so I'm just gonna let my voice say all I had to say so here we go There's no way we survive this we're dead we're dead it'd be funny if Foxy killed me right now <sighs> hey though Foddy please I, I don't think we're going to make it, guys. He's taking his time, though. Unless it goes all to complete the black. Please. We're dead, guys. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. Unless we somehow pull a miracle out. Please, Fuddy, don't kill me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, no way! No way! Oh my god! I am the queen of Five Nights at Fuddy's.
Notice his termination, you're fired. Tampering for the animatronics. General unprofessionalism. Odal. Guys, we beat 4020 mode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I'm freaking out right now. This is, oh my god. It's very hard. We did it guys, we got the three stars. This is my first Five Nights at Freddy's game, and I beat it max mode. I can't believe this. 1987. This should be it, right? 1987. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I, I don't... I, didn't, I guess I didn't notice I did it wrong. But, guys, we beat 420 mode. I will put description... I'll put a link in the description below about how I did it and the guide that I followed because it's very helpful. I did it so fast. Well, it took Marco Polo like seven hours. But, guys... There's no more Five Nights at Freddy's now. I don't have enough money to buy a second game. But tell me what other FNAF games you want me to play in the description, in the comments below. And guys, thank you for all the support lately. I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a brand new FNAF YouTuber and I've been blowing up. And it makes, it makes me so happy that people like my content and stuff like that. This was, you guys need to watch these main videos because uh, I need to watch ours. But only about 5% of people are subscribed, so subscribing would help me out a lot. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.